guys, it's LG Shaft, and we are looking at a best of five. Yes, I said it, a best of five. We figured it out. These games are a best of five. So, with that being said, this is why we're seeing a third match. It is 2-0 right now for one of our Zergs, and the other Zerg is playing okay but keeps getting uh, caught with his pants down, I guess would be the best way to say that. And uh, things aren't looking very good for him right now. So this is game number three, and we're going to be moving right on into the game. My co-caster tonight is my good friend Highlander. Yo. Howdy. Howdy, howdy. You representing, homie? No. <laughs> okay. I'm glad to hear it. I'm glad to hear it. Let's get this game unpaused here. And as soon as I get to a minute mark, because I am retarded. I am genuinely retarded. Hi, guys. Actually, no, I'm not retarded. i am got like a IQ of like 82, actually. So I'm pretty smart. I'm pretty smart. Now I'm at a minute mark, guys. So let's get it unpaused in three, two, one, go. Okay, so on the bottom right-hand side of this really awesome map, we have the Red Zergy McFerguson, the SCV Life, Hyun. And on the top left-hand side of the map, he's the Golden Zerg. Guess what his name is? Guess what his name is? It ends in Olden. It begins with G. It's Golden Light. Now, like I said, Hyun is 2-0 in this series. It's a best of five. So, Golden is going to have to take the next three games to manage to stay in this tournament. This tournament is the Zotac Cup North America, number 58. So, what are you thinking, man? Big map. This is a really popular map for eight pools or whatever, but we've not seen any early pool builds. Uh, we're actually seeing both players take hatchery. Is this safe? Should these guys have really tried this? Is this the appropriate decision for Golden, who, you know, if his opponent was six-pulling him right now? Yeah, I think this is... I don't know why they went um, for the early pool in the first game, and now this game they're uh, playing more greedy. Yeah. It's kind of odd. I agree as well, man. Now, earlier we thought we had got the replays out of order. Guys, I'm here to tell you that is not the case. So, uh, yeah. So, you're absolutely right, man. Uh, we're watching them in order, and the first team, they did a very, or a very safe play. Now they're being very greedy. And this just isn't a map that you want to be greedy on, because it takes forever to get a drone scout over or an overlord scout over. Of course, they know this is cross map. I believe this is GSL, ver no, this is the IPL version. There's uh, blue mineral fields. So, yeah, that's... <sighs> I guess that's just the way the cookie crumbles, bro. Yeah, I guess they're just really ahead in the metagame. I also think with it being GS <laughs> or the IPL version, that that is it IPL MLG I don't know one of these versions has blue mineral fields but it's a special version of Antica so I guess knowing that it's cross map also yeah, makes you I, feel I, a little I, bit safer pretty sure it's always cross map for them yes it is on this particular <laughs> version so I think that would make them feel a little bit safer to do this 15 hatch opening yeah we do have link speed on the way now for Hyun Golden just now starting it so there's a 10 second difference now uh, these 10 second differences we've seen earlier, uh, it come down, the entire game come down to the 10 second difference between metabolic boosts. So, we'll see how this plays out for, uh, yeah, who has a little bit of a lead. Do you like this map? What are your thoughts on it, and this matchup and others? I actually just got 10 pooled on this map on ladder just today. Yeah, it's very popular. And I lost. So I was sad. Yeah. Um, I don't like this map as much as the others. It's not my most favorite. Okay. And Especially why on ladder because you can get close positions, like, kind of. Uh -huh. You don't always spawn cross positions. Right. And those... So it's harder to get a scout off. It's harder than yeah. being all in. Yeah. 
Bailey Ness coming out a little bit quicker for Hyun. Both players with their spine crawlers up. Now I want to check the gas count for both players. That's going to be three gas for Hyun. Also three gas for Golden, but both of them are going to be defensive. That's a little bit curious contradiction there. Pretty nice little Sim City here for Golden. He's going to be very safe against any gaming aggression that Hyun may throw as well. Nice little link scout moving into Hyun's natural and up in the ramp into the main. He is going to scout to take away or Golden getting a lot of information on that scout. Hmm. Ooh, Evolution Chamber now starting. Zerg missile attacks level one. He has seen that his opponent is more than likely going to be what it has to be Spire. I mean, he's seen really quick layer off what is one gas and a three gas, but now a roach warren being made for Hyun. I don't know if it's just going to be a light amount of roaches for defense or if he is going to actually take it to the max. Isn't that a song? Take it to the max, take it to the max? <laughs> no. <laughs> okay. okay, we actually have 1-1 one, one in production now for Golden. Hyun with plus one uh, missile attacks on the way as well as Glio Constitution. He's also getting a third hatchery really quickly. Uh, are you playing with your mic a lot? Pardon me? Uh, I don't think it's you. Frank, mute your mic, bro. Okay. Uh, okay, overlords are being produced for both players. Hyun is sending an overseer into the main of Golden, and this overseer of Golden is going into the main and towards the natural of Hyun. Hmm. Wow. Okay, both players um, getting good reads. Yeah. Golden or uh Hyun is looking really good right now, I think. Yeah, he's actually 20 far ahead of his opponent. As far as roaches yeah. to roaches, he's got 15 to his opponent's five. And he's actually four harvesters behind. But he's making nine danglings, so if he attacks right now, this is going to be rather devastating. This could actually kill Golden almost outright. Golden who has missed a few injects and not playing. You think it was uh, mechanically, is that how uh, Golden fell behind, or was his build just not as optimal? I think it was mechanics. I don't think his injects have been quite as on time, and you can see that mm. just by looking at these two. All right. Hatchery, or the hatchery in the lair, rather. Um, and well, right now, Gun has his third up and running. Gun. I don't know. I, I think Hyun has just played a better game overall. He's not been behind on production because earlier Golden lost a lot of queens, didn't he? Yeah. Uh, there you go, missed inject. It wasn't necessarily mechanically, simply as the fact that he didn't have to. Right. Okay, so these glitches and Bane is going to tear down the front of Golden. Golden doing a pretty good job defending, but this third is going to be sacrificed. The Bane running right on into the drone line. And, oh, wow, that is devastating. Now, he wants to keep a couple of Bane's alive just to deal with any kind of heavy lane production that Golden may throw at him, which is completely devastating. He is racist, but the GG is dropped. Yeah. Not a very eventful game. No sir, no sir, but it was kind of exciting to see Hyun get those, uh, get the less upgrades, do a timing attack, and it still managed yeah. to do so much damage. Yeah, still interesting to see. Uh, I think the early aggression, like I said, from Hyun uh, killing off his queens is what this game came down to, and you said not very much, but that actually seemed like a, quite a bit packed into uh, a really small, narrow space of time. But hey, I guess uh, different strokes for different <clears throat> folks, and uh, I enjoyed these games, man. Hopefully you did too. Uh, hopefully the viewers did as well, but I'll leave that to them to comment on. Hopefully, guys, uh, you'll check out sc2cast.com. These should be posted up there, gamereplays.org as well. Uh, in the meantime, I'm going to...
talk about you know some of the sponsors and places you should go check out but if you're on the live stream not watching this on VOD go ahead to the chat room in twitch.tv Frank or damn game is gonna uh, get your questions any questions you guys might have for us as casters uh, about these games or anything else really um, he'll relay them to us and we'll answer them but uh, while you guys are submitting those we'll give you two minutes to do that uh, I want to talk about GameReplays.org. It's a really awesome website. You guys should go check it out. We're setting up a new tournament system, actually, that will allow you to host your own tournaments, just like the uh, Daily Zotac Cup. Uh, you'll be able to get prizes or whatever based on how many tournaments you run and how many people show up, stuff like that. And uh, it, mostly it's just an overall good community forums people want to help you out, you know, you can learn a lot from just any given Masters player that's hanging out there, there's a couple of GMs as well, I uh, know players like Nimitz uh, hang out there, really cool stuff, now there's also StarCraft2Strategy.com, which has awesome free guides that really uh, amazing writers have put up, I've got a couple articles up there as well, so maybe they accept things a little subpar, they're not all amazing, but you know, it's for me, so they had to take it. And uh, there's also a lot of really good content there. They just got a new stream listing for some really amazing educational shows. Uh, it'll tell you if they're live or online or anything like that. And uh, SC2SEA.com, guys, is a Southeast Asian community where you can go check out. They also run tournaments, but they have some really amazing players. In fact, I've heard it quoted that up to 25% of the North American GM ladder is uh, Southeast Asian at any given moment. So, seen a lot of uh, really good players on the North American GM ladder that I know actually frequent those forums. So, with that being said, guys, go check those websites out. They are amazing. Check out some more of the stuff that uh, we produce here at Clan Eat Casting at blip.tv slash the only shaft or youtube.com and then just look for misused shaft we do a lot of stuff on sc2cast.com and uh, otherwise guys just hit follow and hit me up on twitter twitter.com slash lg shaft thanks for tuning in highlander anything to plug before uh we wrap this up um no i got nothing all right that was a uh, good tournament though it's a lot of fun casting these games with you hell yeah man i'm glad you joined us Frank, anyone curious about anything, or is it too late for these viewers? Have they all gone to bed? Oh, I'm talking with uh, one old uh, old friend here in the chat, but uh, <laughs> he's saying nobody's going to ask any questions, so <laughs> uh, I guess that's the opinion of the chat room. <laughs> oh, okay, okay, and let me guess who that is. Could it be, could it be Mr. Keo? Uh, it starts with a K. I don't know how you're going to pronounce it exactly. Mr. Kia? No, it looks more like Kirk. Kirk! Haha! That's my good friend Chris. Oh, that's good to hear that his computer is back online and you can watch some awesome casts. And hey, <laughs> thank you, buddy, for making an appearance and checking this out. Well, guys, it's been awesome, but it is 2.30 a.m., Shaft has got to go to work, and I'm still going to sneak in a couple of games before I do that. So, take it easy. See you on the other side. Bye-bye.